Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Aston Villa Manager Mode! Welcome back to some more Aston Villa Manager Mode today guys. Last episode, I completely lost my shit. I went mental last episode. Well, luckily for us, guys, we've only got two episodes left, and there is nothing that, w that will do to change that now. Because it's very nearly FIFA 16 time. Not only that, guys, but we're very nearly at the end of the season now. Just two more, two more episodes, guys. QPR, Manchester City, and Everton in today's episode, and then finishing everything off will be West Ham, Southampton, and Burnley. None of that will change. We're not in any more cups, but look at those tab that table, guys. We are one point ahead of Manchester United, but not only that, five points behind us are Chelsea, five points behind us are Arsenal, and eight points behind us are Spurs. With six games left, we could end up, on recent form, out of a Champions League spot. So we really need some good results in today's episode. First up is uh, QPR. We're going to go with our first team again. I really think that we're best off with our first team than our second team, that's for sure. And uh, that is the team that's going to be facing off against QPR. And here we go. We've got to shake off the last episode, guys, at Villa Park. Aston Villa versus QPR. We really need to bounce back in and we need to win at least, what, three of our games to ensure, uh, to, oh, no, not four. We've got to at least win four of our last six games to ensure that we do get Champions League football. Benteke, well, I got took out off the ball there. I just managed to get in front of him. I believe that should be a card, but the referee is just given a, uh, a free kick. It's a dangerous area though. James Milner, flips it over the wall and that was an excellent free kick. McCarthy with a fantastic acrobatic save keeps QPR in it. That was a lovely free kick from James Milner. Maybe could have been just slightly more to that left hand side, but it was a lovely free kick nonetheless. He just didn't go for it. That is a pass back. You fuckers! You fucking dirty bastards! Cheating fucking wankers! What ref? Yes! A nice little chip over the top of the uh, the player there to get us a free kick in a very dangerous area for James Milner again. This is a better area for James Milner. Gets it up and over the wall but cannot get it back down again. That is a shame for James Milner. Really was expecting that to go in, guys. Whoops it in. Decent ball in as well. Delph. If that was on target, that was in. The keeper was nowhere near him there. Nice bit of play here in Zogbia. Ball towards Benteke. Turns his man. Benteke with a long range effort! That was close. That was really, really close, guys. And what a shot it was from Benteke. But unfortunately, just couldn't swing in. QPR going for one just before half time. There's been about 17 minutes of added time here, guys. So it's bound to end up in a QPR goal here. Sandro whips it across. Easy ball in for Vargas and Sissoko gets his leg to it. It's a corner. Right on the last. And we know what fucking Brad Guzan's like for corners, guys. Whipped in. It's nowhere, nobody anywhere near it, to be fair. And it's gone floating out. Surely that's it now. It is. That is it for half time. The current score is nil-nil. A little bit disappointed, guys, because we've been, without a doubt, the better side throughout the first half. But uh, I think it's Ferdinand who's just managing to keep Benteke quiet at the moment. But we just can't find a way into the back of the net at the moment, guys. We haven't scored in I don't know how many games now. So, well, nil-nil at half time. Nice ball towards James Milner. He's got to bring it back in towards Benteke. McCarthy doesn't get to it. And the strike is once again not on target. Fucking great. This is brilliant. Come on! Go for it, guys! Fucking go for it! Sarko! Fuck! What was that? Sarko's ball forwards. This is it. The last chance. And the man I want in the box is here. Ben Tekka smashes it straight at McCarthy. 
everything today, everything in the last few games has been utterly fucking terrible. Whipped in towards Pradle, it's not dealt with, it is now, and that is it guys! Yet another goalless game for Aston Villa, and it really isn't our fault. I have been trying my best to score, but nothing wants to go on target. And we're going through a very, very bad period at the moment. God knows what that's going to do towards uh, to the table here. But it's going to make things interesting for the last few games of the season, that's for sure. Okay, so guys. Manchester United also drew their last match. But they've gone ahead and won their next match. They're now two points ahead. And if we want to win the league, we're going to have to win. <laughs> We really do need a win to drag us back into this because I'm finding it really fucking difficult at the moment. Just to hit the target is hard enough. So we've got our first team going out against Manchester City today, guys, away from home. Remember that we absolutely smashed Manchester United on the counter-attack when, uh, when we did this. We always seem to do better against the higher sides than what we do against the lower sides, but we really need some results now. If we're going to get European football like what I wanted to get for Aston Villa at the start of this Let's Play, we really need a result today. Second game of the episode, guys. We're at the Etihad Stadium. Manchester City versus Aston Villa. Oh my god, I am not looking forward to this. I really am. <laughs> These last few games have been terrible. They've been really, really bad. But I suppose it does make things interesting for you guys, just seeing the close season. Delph has to find a ball forwards here and does. Sarko just manages to keep it in. Whips it in towards Benteke! And it's off target. Benteke doesn't get these off target. Come on. Benteke. Look at this for a ball forwards now. Fabian Delph. Cow. God. This game just does not want me to score. At all. What a lovely ch challenge from Hart there. Did that come off a guy? No, it didn't. It just went straight fucking wide. I can't believe it. I just can't get anything on target. Delph's ball forwards. Decent ball into a sack. Oh, fucking hell, I've scored! Holy shit! Sarko has been a standout performer in today's game. Nobody else has been. And he's the only one who's found the fucking target. Tested um, at heart. That is a nice takedown and a nice smash. And a nice goal. And fucking thank God for that. Just before half time. And there we go, the whistle's gone for half-time, guys. The current score is 1-0 to Aston Villa. We really need this win. We really need this win. But let's have a look at the stats, guys. We've had quite a bit of the ball, actually, to be fair. 57%, four shots, two on target. Manchester, we've really stopped Man City from having any, ch uh, any sort of chance at all. But um, I'm just... Uh, that, surely... Have I had two efforts on target? You're having a laugh. But other than that, it was a pretty boring half, really. David Silva's ball forwards, Fernandinho. Come on, where's my guys? Get fucking back! Holy shit, that was a blaster of a fucking shot, that. But none of my players are going backwards. And all of their players get behind the ball. It's so frustrating to see. Keepers nowhere. Absolutely fucking nowhere. Oh my god, I didn't even do anything again! I didn't even do anything again! That wasn't even me! I am fucking tired of this game giving me shit. There was nothing in that. Look at that, he just falls over. You fucking diving bastard. I am tired of this game giving me the shitty end of the stick. Benzema. Steps up to take the, uh, the Jeff. I dived, what the fuck? Did you see that delay then? Did you see that delay? Because I fucking pressed that to dive that way as soon as he was going to do it. Do you see that delay? That is fucking bullshit. 
this fucking game, I swear to God. Fabian Delph, yes! Go on! Yes! Go on! Yeah! The fuck! What was that? Near post fucking cross! Are you having a laugh? It's Benteke getting in the box, Benteke! Fuck off! Yaya Torre can't run! This is fucking stupid! He doesn't even see his own fucking box, it's ridiculous! What kind of a fucking game is this? Simulation, my fucking ass. Zogbia, nice ball here actually. Passed it in. Oh, come on! This game just does not want me to win. I know that. Oh, fuck off. I'd be in Delph. Ball in towards James Milner. It's not James Milner I want on the fucking ball, is it? Oh, piss off, Yaya Torre! You ain't that fucking good! Fuck off! Benteke. Oh, he's done his man now, surely, please. Please, God. Fuck this game! I swear to God! You do not miss finish shots. You don't hit them straight at the keeper from fucking two yards out. This game is starting to get on my tits. It's really starting to get on my nerves. Nothing I can do will give me a result. It's one all this time. Well, we're still one point behind Manchester United. God knows what's going to happen with the other results. Let's have a look at the stats, guys. Nine shots, six on target, 48% possession. Fucking Yaya Torre changed to a box-to-box -box midfielder. Do you ever see Yaya Torre running back into his own box? No! I never see Yaya Torre doing anything fucking defensive. Fuck off! Okay, after that, guys, it hasn't ended up too bad, to be fair. We're still second. We are now, well, we're behind Manchester United by four points now. I don't think we're going to catch them. Chelsea are catching up to us, but Arsenal and Swansea don't seem to be making any headway. We've got four games, and we're, what, five, six, seven points ahead of Swansea. Okay, in four games. We need to win two games at least to guarantee getting Champions League football. That was the aim when we started it. Now, I thought we might be able to win it, but we've just been absolutely fucking horrendous at this, uh, this end of the season here. But it's going to be our first team once again. That's pretty much the only team I can do anything with at the moment. And um, it's a home match against Everton. It's a rainy day at uh, Villa Park today. Aston Villa versus Everton. And it's the last game of the episode. <laughs> Thank God for that. And I've only got one more episode to go. 15, yes! Fuck this game, it's shit. Don't buy it, guys. Don't buy it. If you bought it already, then more fool you. And me for buying it in the fucking first place. Oh, James Milner's done his man here now. Done his man. Be out. Whips it in. Nobody's there. Sarko's there. But it's gone over the top of the fucking net. It's once again off target. And look at this. Pradle's on the fucking edge of the box. Are you fucking for real? Just get out. Jesus Christ. Oh, this game is going to fucking just destroy me. McCarthy, Lukaku. Still Lukaku. The shot to Ron Vlaar. To get more points. Oh, fuck off! Fuck off! I am stood right there! Why is it their legs miraculously fucking magnetised towards the balls, but my fucking doesn't, does it? That was a close effort there from Leighton Baines, I think it was. Oh, go on, Benteke. Surely now. Surely. Yes! Yes! Fucking yes! Jesus Christ! Took it round the defender like he wasn't even there. And then smashed it with the outside of my boot. And Tim Howard has just stood there. Watched that go flying past him. Eventually. E fucking eventually. Jesus. Woo! 1 0, guys. We've been here before. Ref, come on. There's not even a foul on that. You're having a laugh. Benteke! 
Oh, his fucking magic slide knows exactly when I'm going to shoot. Well, it's half time, guys, and apart from the goal, it's just been number one frustrating as fuck, as always, it seems to be recently. But it's been boring. It's been really boring, guys. It really has. Let's have a look at the stats, though, going into half time. Everton, six shots, three on target, to our four shots, two on target. 52% of the possession for Everton, though. And uh, But we have the leading goal, and hopefully we can keep it. I really hope we can. Because then we're one win away from getting Champions League, guaranteed Champions League football for Aston Villa. And that was the plan. Delph in a position to shoot, and it's a lovely shot from Fabian Delph. And we actually score two in one game. This hasn't happened since the great days of 62. Years ago. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Aston Villa 2, Everton 0. Lovely finish, it's got to be said, by Fabian Delph. And that just gives us a little bit of comfort now. And I need a little bit of comfort in my life in this fucking episode. Turns on the inside, lovely finesse shot, and around the keeper, and it's in the back of the net for two. Get in! Oh, come on, look at the space! Look at the space that's opened up in the middle of the defence! How the fuck does that happen? I mean, Pradle's over there, fucking Vlaz way over there! There's a massive gap in centre defence there. Oh, go on, Sarko! Yes, Sarko! Yes! Abit! On the counter-attack when Everton were looking pretty strong for getting that fucking equaliser and I thought it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Knowing my luck today, it's going to fucking happen. But on the counter-attack there, Sarko once again smashes it in the back of the net. And it's 3-1, just took it around that centre-back there. Got in front of the man, smashed it with the left. Tim Howard going with his feet, can't get it. And there we go, guys. That is surely the win in the bag now. Oh, thank God for that. Brad Guzan whacks it up the field. And that is the end of the game. We've finally won a game, guys. Holy crap. Let's quickly exit this. Take a look at the stats. Seven shots, five on target. 50% possession. Jeez. Everton, eight shots, four on target. Uh, I suppose they could feel a little bit aggrieved that they didn't actually manage to draw the game. But I don't feel fucking aggrieved at all. I feel fucking ledge. So uh, Manchester United played, obviously they've already played. So we're still a point behind Man United now. And we're 10 points ahead of Liverpool. Which means, guys, we've definitely got European football. We've only got three games, which is nine points. Um, we just need a result in our last three games and for one of the teams below us to uh, to fuck up and we've got Champions League football but the aim was European football we've now got European football I can breathe I can breathe and I can try to just relax and enjoy the last three episodes uh, the last three games and of course the last episode don't forget to come back for the next episode guys because it will be the last episode of FIFA 15. I am not playing another fucking game in my life in FIFA 15. I know that much for a fucking fact. But anyway, guys, um, top scorer is Ben Teke at the moment. And I do hope that you enjoy me for the next game. Enjoy me for the next game? Join me for the next game. Until then, I'm the top man. Thank you very much for watching. As always, see you soon.